So on the first indie set that I worked on, it was like one of my first, it was like a three month film. It was super indie. I think it was trying to be Harry Potter before Harry Potter and like the director um, had gotten some funding and like they were like, this is gonna be like this fantasy, whatever. I think it was Harry Potter. But I think it was like, we're, we're gonna pay you $1,500 for like four months and you're gonna work like 23 hours a day. I'm like, cool, that's great. <laughs> Sign me up, that's perfect. I think I was the third AD, so that was a pretty big deal because um, before that I was just like kind of peeing on stuff like here and there. But this was like, you're in from the beginning to the end of the project. So I was in, I wasn't really quite sure exactly what was happening and like that, that shoot was crazy because we were working a lot of hours and I'm surprised no one got hurt to be honest like it was just like one of those like you jump in and you don't really know what, like you just go <laughs> but I had this black pickup truck that like I had the whole time for the shoot we were shooting uh, not only in like Toronto at U of T actually pretty cool we were shooting at U of T and then we were shooting in Bowmanville and like all these different locations so there was one time where we were shooting in Bowmanville and I had to drive a whole bunch of people in like this pickup truck, including the director. <laughs> Again, I'm like, I'm not sure why. It's always my responsibility, but I'm always with the director. And um, we had done like a 15 hour day. And again, this is an indie shoot. So I'm like, you're not following any rules. I'm, again, I'm surprised no one got hurt. Thank God, but like no one did. We were working so many hours. It was a bunch of young kids. Like it was just like really like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and on the way home, it was like after a 15 hour, 16 hour day, three months into like a four month shoot where you're doing that constantly. So I'm like, everybody is exhausted. Like you're not in good shape. Like it's not good. And the director was like, okay, like I'm kind of cold. So we turn on the heat in the pickup truck. I'm like driving from Bowmanville back to Toronto, late night, super tired. I'm like, I'm already feeling like sleepy. I'm like, I could fall asleep at any second not good and then this was like at the time where you still had cds and like a cd case and so like the director was going through and she's like oh what are you gonna listen to and i'm like i'm hoping it's something like pick me up music but she picked of all things sade the sade cd put that in so i'm like the heat like along with like not sleeping for months and being like on an indie film set and then you throw in sade on cd i'm like i i'm just happy that i did not like run off the road so that's like the Sade and the pickup truck story, my first indie film. I have an IMDb credit about that on IMDb, and that film is out there. <laughs> I don't even think I've seen a final cut, I'm not even sure. But before Harry Potter, there was a Shadowlands, Shadowlands, something about shadows, shadows.